Okay, hi guys, uh, Bella and Sebastian here. Uh, it's been fucking forever since I've actually recorded a video, but um, yeah, actually doing one now. Um, this is picking up on the one that I said previously about um, cheating with breakbeats. It's kind of this the way that I do things, I suppose, um, which is less relying on plugins and more kind of just yeah being a bit more manual about it. Um, I will be editing out shit, so I'm going to try and get this, you know, a, a little bit kind of quicker than usual. Usual, it's like 10 minutes. Uh, this time, I'll try and cut it down a little bit, but I've already wasted shit loads of time just talking. So, yeah. So, this is basically making, working with kind of break beats. You, well, usually the Amen break. I'm going to be working with the Amen break today. Uh, so, the first thing you need is the Amen loop. Nice, straightforward, just nice, clean, amen break. Um, you can use whatever the fuck you like, to be honest, so you can go... Uh, a table. A door. A fist. You can use samples out of an NSPCC advert if you really want to. Right. Um, okay. Right, so the first thing you want to do is basically get drum rack in your instruments in Ableton. Uh, drag that onto a new channel, or over a previous one, doesn't really matter. Down here, basically, you've got your pads. Uh, let's see, yeah, I've got it set up on the keys anyway. So, into this, you want to drag in, uh, usually you do, so if I drag in just a few samples on different tracks. A, f a door, a, a fist, a table. You get the idea, right. So that's what that does, but what you want to do, in this case, is grab your amen break, drop it into one of them. Double click on it, and it will bring up this nice long uh, waveform of the amen break, so if I hold down this plays the entire break, but you don't want that. What you want is this all chopped up nicely. So if you use these little arrows at the top here, drag it in. See, now we've just got the first kick. So what you want to do, rename that. And at this point, you hold down Alt. Um, might differ on PC, not entirely sure. Um, can't say I've used the PC in a lot while now. Um, but you want to hold down Alt, drag, drop it into the next note. That'll be an exact copy. So that's still taking that first that first kick. So I'll drag it around again. Let's get that second kick. Slightly different, it's got the ride on it. Okay. And again, rename it. So kick two. And then next up, got your snare. So drag that all along. I'm doing it over the same one, but what I'll do is I'll edit. So it's it's fairly straightforward. Basically, you are just grabbing little sections and picking out specific pieces of the sound. Okay, so I'm gonna pause. Well, I'm gonna jump cut and yeah, make up an entire kind of um, entire drum pad out of the Amen break. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, so back after I've just quickly done that. Also had a Twix. Um, but yeah, you should end up with something along the lines of. Okay, so yeah, simple little mixture of just little samples extracted. Um, did it fairly quick and dirty, but spend as much time as you want. Um, if you really want to, um, you can start going into Audacity, something like that, start filtering out the sounds that you don't want in it. But yeah, doesn't really matter. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, um, one thing I actually forgot to say about, so if I just make a quick duplicate of this second snare, if I actually remember to duplicate it, and call it Rev Snare. So right, when you open this, basically you've got you got your sample in there. There's not everything that you can do in there um, that's available. So I'm going to delete that. So it's just a empty little empty little space and drop in a sampler. Um, sampler's similar to that, but it's got a few different different little things you can do. So I'm going to drop in the Amen loop again into here. Um, exact same kind of same kind of principle. So just going to grab out that snare there. So if I play it, uh, yep, it's the first snap sound that we've got, and hit reverse. If I can remember, there we go. So you've got a little reverse there. Um, basically, you can start doing that, and you can build up everything into one little grunt, uh, one little kind of drum machine. And of course, you can save that for use in other projects. So I'm going to call that Amen 2, because I've already got an Amen 1 sat there. Right, so once you've got this, it's just a case of doing something with it.
So again, I'm going to start out and then I'm going to cut away because I've already got something pre-prepared. So I'm going to use that rather than boring you with me sitting here kind of going, put this here, put this there. Um, firstly, make sure you've got that on so you can actually hear. Hear what's going on with your samples. But really is a case of just maybe a little bit too fast there. But you get the gist. Oops. Okay, um, I'm not going to say it, as I said, I've already got something prepared, but that's your general gist. You've got everything split up into its separate components, and you can start piecing it together in any way, shape, or form that you like. So anyway, I'm going to do another little jump cut, and I'll be back with something that I cooked up earlier on. Okay? Right, okay, back again. Um, as you can see, I've just dropped in some other stuff, which I already had prepared, basically I had kicking around from other projects. Um, not using the exact same drum rack, but it's the exact same principle, just taken from a slightly different amen break. Um, so, right, so, went into there, in the MIDI clip, just dropped out some basic kind of arrangement with, um, yeah, just mainly kick snares and a little bit of shuffle at the top. Um, so if I hit play, you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, um, fairly straightforward stuff. Uh, one of the things that you may have noticed is basically altering the pitch as it goes through. Um, all that is done through. Just have a look in there, not in there. Okay, um, if you look in here, so under snare one, so you can actually do this per um, per pad, per sample. So it's not something that you have to uh, do globally. Um, but down here you've got transpose. So what I've been doing is you get that new little side thing. And you can see here where I've just roughly sketched out some little alterations. So you can see it goes down there, goes up there, etc. So uh, this is for the changes in pitches. This is the easiest one to kind of hear at the end there. So if I just take that and move that up, see it goes up. And if I bring it all the way down, which is a ridiculous amount, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, fuck it. It sounds like farting, but yeah, you get the general gist. Um, ideally, unless that's the kind of thing you're actually going for, probably best not to make music that sounds like farting. Oh, but shit, it's gone wild. Fucking cunty shit balls. That'll do. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go with that. And yeah, um, that's the basic principle. Um, unfortunately, with doing this way, you do have to kind of sit there and manually do absolutely everything. Um, but in the end, because you're actually sitting there doing something, you can actually create something, um, firstly, a little bit more predictable for yourself, um, mainly because it will sound the same. If you're using plugins and things like that, unless you're actually exporting them again uh, to waves, sorry, to audio samples after that, um, it's going to be slight variations every single time. And also with this, you get kind of complete kind of micro control over absolutely everything, which uh, control freak, I like that kind of shit. Anyway, so yeah, I and mean, then you put a dodgy bass line on the top of it, and Bob's your uncle. Seriously, that's dodgy. Anyway, um, cheers for watching. Um, piss off. Ta.